Matt Vaskersian on the call. It's got to be something special when you can play and win for your country. This RZA report starts with the World Baseball Classic coming up in 2023. Once again, we all know that Mark DeRosa, our own colleague, is going to be the manager of Team USA, and it appears that he has solidified his coaching staff and some big names as far as that is concerned for Team USA. Congratulations because you have a great team behind you, d Robe, as far as that is concerned. Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr., five-time World Series champion Andy Pettit are on there. They're making their professional coaching debuts. The remaining staff, bench coach Jerry Manuel, first base coach Lou Collier, third base coach Dino Ebel, love to see that, and bullpen coach Dave Raggetti rounding out the coaching staff. The U.S. is looking to win its second World Baseball Classic title after capping the 2017 event with a dominant 8 to nothing victory over Puerto Rico in the championship game at Dodger Stadium. Love to see it. That'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait. So glad the WBC is back. Speaking of back, Bryce Harper is making his way back to the lineup for the Philadelphia Phillies. He homered twice in his first rehab start. He was supposed to come back on Monday, but if you're swinging about like that, maybe you get back sooner. He went two for three with two home runs, four RBI, two walks at AAA in his first action since June 25th. He's on the IL with a broken thumb. He will also play again on Wednesday today, starting as DH, and he can't play right field due to a ligament tear. But man, if you're swinging about like that, the Phillies could use you as they try to make the postseason in the NL East. How about this, though? We often take for granted the fact that we can pretty much go to a ballpark anytime we want and see a big league game. Well, the family of Jordan Alvarez sees him play in a professional game for the first time. This was on Tuesday night. His parents and 14-year-old brother were in the stands to see him play professionally for the first time on Tuesday. The family defected from Cuba in 2016, but had not been permitted into the U.S. until last Friday. Wonderful moment. Mark Berman, Fox 26, tweeting this. Wonderful moment for Jordan Alvarez's family who are here from Cuba. Jordan's mother, father, brother are watching him play as a professional for the first time. Felicidades.